Hey guys, Rob Dog here, and I'll be playing another game called Castlevania Harmony of Despair. You can see the characters is Siona, um, uh, Alucard, and Soma Cruz from the games in their GBA, Game Boy Advance, and so on. And here's the start. Teens, yeah, for kids. Konami is the support of the game. And here it is, Castlevania Harmony of Despair. And I love the artwork in all these Castlevania games. They're so amazing. I cannot get enough of it. Just press start. And this is the menu. We got local play, online play, leaderboards, replays, help and options and so on. I like it how it is set up like a book and that this is more like a network play so four people can play in this game. Let's go to local play. Change of characters. I got everyone in this game by buying it in, in the shop in the PN store and I'm starting with Shiro uh, Sharona and look at the characters that are in here. There's Sharona and then um, there's Richter Vembon, yeah, Richter Belmont, Julius Belmont, Jonathan Morris, a la carte from Cynthia of the Night, and Soma Cruz from the GBA game. And I have no idea who that guy is. Simon Belmont of the first Castlevania game. That's pretty cool. And I have no idea why they put Maria in here. Yoko, never heard of her. Or him. I, I'm not even sure anymore. And Charlotte, she's one of my favorites as well. But uh, since I'm starting with her, I'm just going to play as her. And just show some of the gameplay in this game. And many character colors. And yeah, they're really, really small. Let's pick her. Shall we? And then I have to pick a chapter first. But actually, I'm just gonna look at the shop stuff, and well, I cannot really buy anything, so yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start the chapter. Uh, chapter 1, it seems more correct. And your goal is to actually go up to that boss and beat him. I highly doubt I could do it on my own right now. Loading. Oh, this is really cool. It's just like turning the pages as it's loading. This is very clever. <clears throat> Here it is. Yeah, that's the boss right there. And that's where... Oh, jeez. I'm very small. But that's a good fix. I just press R3 and then I can switch the scaling from left to right or so on. This is pretty much played like any other Castlevania game, and here's pretty much it. When I press start, and here I go, fighting off the zombie and undead monsters. Simple, huh? And there's magic, double jump. It doesn't look very hard. That, that's one thing I like about it. It's very simple to play. And you just attack. And four people can also play in the same map. And this is like how you play. And you can actually team up and do really cool magic spells together. <clears throat> just looking through. And yes, I am still being killed on the other side. I don't care because I'm not likely to beat this level by myself. And then uh, here goes. And someone's still joining. And blah blah. Okay. Go back to the game. I have to say I really like this game because all my favorite characters from each Castlevania is in here. 
and with the graphics as it is, and voicing adding and special effects, it makes it to one of the best Castlevania games I actually enjoy. Especially Cynthia as a Knight. And here, I'll show you a gameplay of Alucard right now. Here is Alucard from Castlevania Cynthia of the Night. And I'm gonna start playing him instead of actually using uh, the other character I just played, uh, Sharona. Okay, here it is. Let's start. Shall Take we? his color and then just start the game. And here's the level I'm gonna play again, cast, uh, well, chapter one. And this time, I'm Alucard. I'm a shrimp. So let's just make him large a little bit. And he pretty much has almost everything from Castlevania Symphony of the Night, with his punches and cape and powers, which were like the fog thing, like right there. And he also can turn into a wolf, which he uses with the down pad and jump. So. I'm not going to get into it much because he's a playable to just like everyone in this whole game. Just that you get to play with all the cool characters from Castlevania. From 1 and up. I really enjoy that. And the simple way of how you can play it like just a regular GBA or a Nintendo version. Not like 3D rendering and all that stuff. Overall, the graphics are great, and it doesn't cost that much. It's right around, like, say, like, uh, under 20 bucks or 10. And it's very affordable, and the downloadable content is not that much. It's great. I enjoy it. It's a really good game, and I think you guys should uh, look it up and uh, I can join or so and try it out yourself. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm done for the game. Okay, talk to you guys later.